Hello. This has been quite a while now, hasn't it? My colleagues and I came up with a fun idea. We thought that you would be very happy to read some literature during these corona times. Yes, reading! Hooray! Now don't panic, don't be alarmed. We're not going to give you some extra tasks or anything like that. No, we're just going to provide you with some texts that you can enjoy and read them just for the fun of it. The texts you will be able to find on Smart School, uh, you'll find them in the folder reading surprise surprise uh, you print them out you download them and you start reading the text now if you feel quite uncertain reading an english text on your own, on your own you'll be able to use these clips to read them together with me or with a colleague of mine i picked out a text written by mark twain now who is mark twain mark twain is an american author from the 19th century famous for stories like huckleberry finn he also wrote a very short story called a fable. What is a fable? A fable is a story where animals act like human beings and there's also a lesson attached to the story, something you can learn from. Uh, we call it a moral in the story. Ah, yes, good. Thank you. So, have you printed out your text or have you downloaded your text? Yes? And we'll start reading. A fable by Mark Twain. Once upon a time, an artist who had painted a small and very beautiful picture placed it so that he could see it in the mirror. He said, this doubles the distance and softens it, and is twice as lovely as it was before. The animals out in the woods heard of this through the house cat, who was greatly admired by them because it was so learned and civilized and so polite and could tell them so much which they didn't know before and were not certain about afterward. They were much excited about this new piece of gossip, and they asked questions, so as to get at a full understanding of it. They asked what the picture was, and the cat explained. It is a flat thing, he said. Wonderfully flat, astonishingly flat, delightfully flat, and excellent, and oh, so beautiful. That excited them almost to madness, and they said they would give the world to see it. Then the bear asked, What is it that makes it so beautiful? It is the looks of it, said the cat. This filled them with admiration and uncertainty, and they were more excited than ever. Then the cow asked, What is a mirror? It is a hole in the wall, said the cat. You look in it, and there you see the picture, and it's so pretty and charming and heavenly in its unimaginable beauty that your head turns round and round, and you almost faint with overwhelming delight. The donkey had not said anything as yet. He now began to throw doubts. He said there had never been anything as beautiful as this before, and probably wasn't now. He said that when it took a whole basket full of adjectives to praise the beauty of a picture, it was time for suspicion. It was easy to see that these doubts were having an effect upon the animals, so that the cat went off offended. The subject was dropped for a couple of days, but in the meantime curiosity was taking a fresh start, and a new interest in the subject was noticeable. Then the animals attacked the donkey for spoiling what could possibly have been a pleasure to them on a mere suspicion that the picture was not beautiful, without any proof that such was the case. The donkey was not troubled. He was calm and said there was one way to find out who was in the right, himself or the cat. He would go and look in that hole and come back and tell what he found there. The animals felt relieved and grateful and asked him to go at once, which he did. But he did not know where he ought to stand, and so, by mistake, he stood between the picture and the mirror. The result was that the picture had no chance and didn't show up. He returned home and said, The cat lied. There was nothing in that hole but a donkey. There wasn't a sign of a flat thing visible. It was a handsome donkey, and friendly, but just a donkey, and nothing more. The elephant asked, Did you see it good and clear? Were you close to it? 
I saw it good and clear, oh hearty, king of beasts. I was so close that I touched noses with it. This is very strange, said the elephant. The cat was always truthful before, as far as we could make out. Let another witness try. Go, Baloo, look in the hole, and come and report. So the bear went. When he came back, he said, Both the cat and the donkey have lied. There was nothing in the hole but a bear. Great was the surprise and puzzlement of the animals. Each was now anxious to make the test himself and get at the straight truth. The elephants sent him one at a time. First, the cow. She found nothing in the hill but a cow. The tiger found nothing in it but a tiger. The lion found nothing in it but a lion. The leopard found nothing in it but a leopard. The camel found a camel and nothing more. The hati was angry and said he would have the truth if he had to go and find it out himself. When he returned, he scolded them all for being liars and was very angry about the moral and mental blindness of the cats. He said that anybody but a near-sighted fool could see that there was nothing in the hole but an elephant. Now what was the moral by the cats? You can find the text whatever you bring if you will stand between it and the mirror of your imagination. You may not see your ears, but they will be there. So, think about that. Now, I hope you enjoyed this story. Keep healthy and see you next time. Toodaloo!